right, right. Monday morning cracks. Okay. Right, ready? One, two, three. Monday morning cracks. Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube rendition of the Runner and Gunner, Gunner video, video game, game podcast. podcast. Everyone's favorite podcast, America's favorite podcast, because we're one of the very few podcasts who actually love America and love where we are. Love and we love everybody out there. So we want you guys to know that, we yes, we say Monday Morning Cracks, and yes, we talk about Mondays a lot, but this edition, this rendition, is about listening to us anytime and any place you may be and just whenever you feel like listening to it again yeah. just press that rewind button because we are going to be renditioning for a very long time on yes. youtube so this is the youtube rendition where uh it is going to be a shorter more smaller version more compact, compact yeah if you will yeah but it's also going to be raw raw and as all ever. out so we can call it Shootsy wootsy dootsies. That's right. And all you maniacs out there, get ready for greatness. Get ready for more of what you need and more of what you want. Yes, we're talking to you, our maniacs out there. And Lenny yes, Sue, we love you guys too. So get ready for America's favorite podcast. America's favorite podcast. And let's give it to him, Gunner. All right, everybody. Today, we just want to say that it is Monday, Monday the, the 15th, 24. Um, actually, I think it's going to be Monday the 22nd. <laughs> Oops. Thanks, producers. Come Everybody on, out guys. there, Monday the 22nd. Well, hey, it is our first rendition, so I mean, Hopefully there's time for screw-ups here time and for there. for screw-ups. Uh, uh, which is all right. You know, 420 was two days ago, so you know that. Yeah, our heads are still a little cloudy. Yeah, and... a little cloud in our head, maybe a little <laughs> bit of brain damage. Just a little bit. Too much THC. A little those, bit of uh, rain ramage. You know, what do they call it? Uh, cr cryptonoids? Cryptonoids. and Cannabinoids. Yeah. yeah, some of that crystallization stuff. <laughs> anyway, so we are here to tell you guys to get ready. Because it's all over. It's all oh over. Oh my God, it's ending. No. It's We're talking over. about tax season. Tax, tax season. season. Before it ends, go get your taxes done, everybody. Yeah. Pay your taxes to the place that loves you the most. And don't hate the place that loves you the most. Love the place that loves you the most. Wherever you are from in America, tax season is yes. among us. And don't go worrying about what others, someone else is paying on their taxes. You worry about your damn self. That's right. And so, Gunner, what would you suggest would be the greatest way to uh, pay your taxes or do your taxes if you were to Early. give advice to any American? I mean, I'm saying I, not timing-wise, but oh. would, would you go to somebody? Would yes. you do them online? Would you do this and this? Would you I skip them it. completely and go to jail for three years? I mean, no, like not Wesley, that, not like that last Wesley one. Snipes? No, 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 no. Don't yeah. do that, people. Al Capone? It just slipped my mind to pay taxes to the place that I live. Well, I didn't know. I thought if I sold and smuggled drugs that I wouldn't have to pay taxes. I well, thought the taxes on my paycheck were going to the taxes that I already paid. Well, Al Capone, the joke's on you because the IRS are the ones who took you and your Tommy guns down. Also known as the I arrest crew. Also known so as Erwin Scheister. Yeah. They are shyster. Whose son is also Bray Wyatt, if anybody gets that reference. Everybody out there, it is tax season. That I was a riot. personally went to H&R Block, where I go every year. Taxes H&R Block. Look, at everywhere you go, taxes are going to be about $200. If you try to pay less than $200, you might be getting ripped off, or unless you have someone who's in the business who can help you out, throw you a bone, give you a lick, cow well, your hair. To get my taxes done, I went to the haircut. Hurry Up and Buy Donut Shop. And guess what? Yes. They're quick with it. They just hurry up and buy, and you get your taxes done. It's so, so quick. So you're telling me- Mathematically, that man, these guys are geniuses. You got your taxes done at a place that sells donuts and does laundry? Yes, and it's called Hurry Up and Buy Laundry and Donut. Oh, and they sell little <laughs> tiny liquor bottles, too. Nice. So, <laughs> so it's a it's been, a three for, you know- I've you been could, doing my taxes at the wrong place. So you could take a shot, wash your dirty drawers, <laughs> and, and have a donut, donut, too. <laughs> leave with the so donut. The donut absorbs a shot, and then you get clean drawers so you don't- crap yourself when you're getting your negative refund mm. from her up and buy donuts. Huh, all right. I once went to a laundromat that also taught karate. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. That sounds cool. Everybody out there, it's a 2024. <laughs> uh, the taxes are due for taxes. the 2023 season. Hopefully you had a great fiscal year. I doubt yeah. it because of the Bidenomics, but hopefully you did. Hopefully you I still know. got it behind it. Maybe you got some online business and some Amazon or, you know, um, Upstart or reroot or big daddy or go daddy or yeah whatever you do or, they uh, call me big daddy well, well, well. i mean um so what we're talking about drop, really is taxes shipping. and taxes you know what you know what i think and a lot of americans would agree with me is that they should add more money in our taxes to give us a bigger refund because why are we supporting all these dumb things in other countries i'm not going to name anything but there is things that i disagree with and i'm pretty sure viewers out there listeners maniacs will disagree with yes that we don't have to support Maniac. every single thing that um, 
that guy Joe, Joe Bro does. Joe Bro, dude, take it easy, man. It's a good life. life and I think good, what bruh. we should do, if bruh. runner for president, first oh. thing I would do is lower gas prices. Okay. To 50 cents a oh. gallon. All right, the producers are telling us that we have to talk about OJ, OJ dying. The juice has been squeezed. The juice has been squeezed. Squeezy, into squeezy. Nice, fine, concentrated ash. Pure ash. Pure ash. <laughs> um, I think the world is a better place now that uh, yeah, this juice man. monster is do- gone. You know, he's been haunting Camp Crystal Lake mm-hmm. for uh, over three decades, and um, his mother was Ski also killing and people, and he's been killing blonde ladies ever since 1981. Oh, wait, is that Jason Voorhees? Or wait, that's Simpson? the wrong one. Uh, that is. I sometimes get Jason and OJ mixed up. Jason, OJ, Yeah, like they juice, both have J's. I know, J, they both like juice. The juice, J, you know, big heads, retarded that can't swim. Yeah, it's all the same. Um, this but, is all I, out oh, of Oh, wait, we're talking about OJ, though. Oh, yeah, OJ. OJ. the juice. The guy that wrote that book about if I did it, in quotes, and then he talks about how he murdered someone. What about the, but, the last moments of his life where he was making jokes about confessions? Wow, yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. true. He confessed about, yeah, he made jokes about it, about how he... um. Got away with it. And so he was making jokes he about had a good life, getting I guess. with murder and killing his wife who was cheating he did on him. Some time. So we got some, some jokes for him. Um, we think that it would be great if they made, they remade, you know, writers, the WGA, the sense are so fascinated and fixed on making rewrites of everything. They should rewrite. Rewrite it. Friday the 13th. F13. With OJ Simpson as Jason Voorhees um, killing blonde women right. with, you know, machetes and spears and axes. Because, um, OJ, much like Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th game and movies and franchise, is a very frightening, is a very frightening, frightening individual. scary character. And in case you ever found him, um, you know, alone in your camp, he probably would chop you in half with one swing. And they could AI him so perfectly. I mean, they got so many images that they could input him. They could input his voice perfectly. Just do like a little could. voiceover of the Hertz commercial. And then when he's stabbing like that, Hertz. And then he'll say the word Hertz. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, so, he, I mean, he was doing all kinds of stuff. What else does he do? Football. football. He was running people over. You know, he could run people over with his car and say, say I ran that guy over. Like, oh, yeah. I have OJ's voice, you know, oh, see, overlapping he, his voice. That'd be a great one. He could he could field goal kick um, one of the blonde girl's heads. Yes. Oh, he could throw a football through um, Ron Goldman's eyes. <laughs> You know, it'll bounce off his mustache. He could try, but I'm pretty sure his mustache will deflect that thing. Out. The only thing right, is like, like soccer. The only thing that's hard about OJ is his forehead is so big that you could see him coming from any which way. Well, how about this? How about they remake OJ as Alien? Since their heads are about the same size, I like, love it. <laughs> Alien chasing, versus Jason. And plus, he's chasing the, OJ. the white woman around too, so it's the same thing. Oh yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> same plot except. Different head. I mean, same size head, but different character. Well, well, we jest, we jest with you, everybody. We know you're all throwing a fit. Don't you dare! Know, it, He's a hero. It, it's all a joke, people. Don't take it because Lenny's to the heart are the bootie. Because Runner and Gunner and myself, we. We think that he's a monster who's got yeah, rid of murder. Yeah, he was guilty. But we know that Lenny's, especially you, you, you know who we're talking to right now. You actually Lenny's, if you're offended, spot for him. Then it's you. And you're offended because you're like, a man died. It's like, no, an evil man died. Yeah. You know, but but Lenny's also like Hitler and Charlie hey, Manson. He, they, he didn't get persecuted. He's lucky he got away without being persecuted or worse, you know, like. Yeah. Or so, worse. So, Lenny's, here's your chance to go buy all his memorability, memorabilia. And, yeah, um, memorabilia. Oh, yeah, there it is. You know. Try to collect all your O.J. Simpson uh, yeah. murder cards, serial killer murder cards. and Put it out on Halloween, scare yeah. all the kids, scare yeah. all the trick-or-treaters. Oh, I got oh, it. Oh, dress up as O.J. for Halloween. Yes, but you, but you spray paint the mask white like Michael Myers. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you see? That's a good movie right there. And this is uh, the failure of our first YouTube rendition. <laughs> the ladies have now turned Sorry, it off. People. How dare you make fun of our hero? But we know, you know, we know our know maniacs guilty? stick by our side, so thank you for... Hanging on there, maniacs. But you maniacs are going to love this. Especially, look at we're going to categorize categorize everyone. OJ, Michael Jackson, Puff Daddy, R. Kelly. Boom. There you go. Real Rosby. We just lost all of our viewers. <laughs> lost half of America yeah. <laughs> with that statement right there. And don't forget, Masterson. And Danny Masterson. And Donna, for that you matter. You know where he's hanging out right too. now? You don't want to hang out with him anymore. And I'm pretty certain Coocher was in on it, too, with the 17-year-old. Coochie, Coochie. You know what I mean? And I don't know what I... Anyways, everybody, Hollywood is filthy, and uh, it's less filthy now. Daddy, daddy. Because O.J. Simpson is now in a worse place. Yeah, so now. Looking up at us. He's looking right up at us and saying, well, at least I got away with it. But not anymore. You think he's, you think he's trying on the glove in heaven to try to 
show show the angels he didn't do it. I think he's trying on the beanie and it don't fit his big old head. Oh, I think he's <laughs> the beanie that he wore that night. I think he's trying on the bear trap. <laughs> oh shit! And still don't fit. Yes, everybody. This is the all out edition. We me, rest gutter. assured we will not be making this kind of jokes on the regular Spotify edition, oh, which cannot. is more family friendly. Yeah. With the YouTube edition, we get a little bit more raw. We get a little bit more out. Yeah, so a little hope, outrageous. So we hope that you're feeling us as we're making all these jokes and comments. Uh, let's talk about some video games because it still is right, the video let's... game podcast. And there's a lot of video game shows on YouTube right now, but this one is the best. Because we say the truth. We're not paid by anybody. We don't no get paid. paid by anybody. We don't take any bribes to make their game sound good. You know, if Call of Duty sucks, we're going to tell you. Then I don't care sucks. how many Lenny's play it. If it sucks, it sucks. You know, it's just what it is. And it does suck. And we have access <laughs> to all the games because we have lots of money. So we're going to be playing all these games and telling you, Lenny's, the truth. The truth and all the truth. So here we go. Let's give them, Gunner, let's give them a couple reviews since you uh, a played a, quick pay these Switch versions of these games. Yes. So we'll give you a couple quick reviews before we got to go. So here we go. All go right. ahead, Gunner, give them So the- uh, Princess Peach Showtime. Princess Peach, everybody. It's just like Super Mario Wonder. It's, it's just pretty cool. like Super Mario Wonder. You said it. You said it right there. And it's for um it's for Switch the Switch primarily. Switch. Right? It's a primarily it's a, it Switch. Costs, it costs 60 bucks. $60. Uh, that's kind of steep. A little steep. Steep. Just wait till it goes on sale. If you guys want to really get it, either wait for it only digital. It hardly ever goes on sale at the stores. So wait for the digital sale and just get it then. I was uh, I was reading a good um a good article that was saying it was it was written by a game a tester uh-huh. who was bu- starting to buy video games for his younger nieces and nephews. Um, okay, and he brought up a good point. He said the experience of downloading a game and waiting for an hour on Christmas, especially if you downloaded uh, downloaded three or four games for many nieces, is it's a very adult experience and not well. not nasty. I'm saying it's like it's very <laughs> like. Time consuming. Ew. You need patience. <laughs> it, it's ta- it's robbing children of the experience that we had as kids. Yeah, getting going the, up opening with the it cartridge. Up. Yes. And then he also went on to say that with the cartridge, you pop it in. He popped in Peach Showtime. Boom. And within minutes, yeah, they're already playing. It. Yeah, it just loads up the updates or whatever it needs yeah. to be done. And so, like you know, if you got three or four cartridges that you're getting your nieces. You, they get an experience, you know. They get these cartridges and the packaging, yes, that's true. and little chips that microchips that they plug in. They're the size of micro SD cards now, just about the new mini cartridges yeah, they have. No, yeah, they're just a little bit bigger than that micro SD thicker, card. Yeah. But yeah, it, it is an experience. It is an experience. And then you get to read the back. It has a little story in the back about the video game yeah. and what you're gonna go through or what you might expect for the first couple levels or whatever they want to talk about. Yeah, it's true. It's pretty you get the cool. Book. And get some codes too. And sometimes you get a book. Now it's they don't they give the book out as much, not as much as yeah. anymore. And if you get the a book. digital copy, you get nothing. Mm-mm. And if you get digital nothing copies for your children, say you got three or four games, you know WWE, Call of Duty, Madden, and whatever. Yeah. Um, it takes two, and so that's going to take upwards of about five, six, seven, eight hours mm-hmm. to download all these games into your system. So if you buy them for them on their birthday or Christmas Day, yes. they will not be able to play until tomorrow. Yeah. In which case they will so have found the frisbee in the football So if you're going to spend that much money, like 60 bucks, you might as well go out there and spend the extra 20 and buy the game at launch so you could get all the special exclusives that will be included inside the video game cartridge itself. They'll give you like early access to certain weapons or certain uh, DLC yeah. or whatever. So I, I would suggest if you're going to get the cartridge itself, might as well try and get it early access, spend an extra 20 bucks and do it. But Gunner is right when it comes to um, experience yeah. because they, it's a better experience. Downloading anybody could do that, and but getting the cartridge, yeah, it'll it'll change your childhood pretty much, make yeah. you feel a little better. Because they're charming, you know. Like even fifty years, you want to plug some holes into those things and wear them yeah. around as a necklace. There, there's like a charm to it. In mm-hmm. fact, I like I really wonder like what goes through the mind of a. Oh, you, you, Lenny's when you Lenny's up there when you have like your whole PlayStation Three filled with. Thousands and pump thousands of dollars of digital downloads yes. that you couldn't walk yourself to GameStop <laughs> and buy uh, physical copies of. And, and now, then they still had the the um, what's it called the guidebook or whatever. Oh yeah, they had the guidebooks in the PS3s. Oh yeah, and, and some of the fours. There's some good casing in the PS3s. Yeah, they did and nice so, artwork and and the artwork. The time that these guys put in to put, do the artwork, these guys are getting paid. So they're actually helping the art workers too. Everybody. Yeah, they're it's, helping a lot of people. And with, but if you go digital download, you're only helping. 
the network itself. Yeah, and that's the about it. Itself. And also, like, you got all thousands of dollars on your PlayStation Three. Where's your PlayStation Three? Oh, you sold it back to GameStop. For and so you have eighty but fifty bucks. Nothing. <laughs> so you got a profit of minus what, like fifteen hundred? Everybody, yeah. we're going to get more into this on The Real Show, yes. the Spotify edition, the Runner and Gunner Video Game, Podcast, video game Podcast, the Monday Morning Show, the only Monday Morning Show in existence. And the greatest show in America. The greatest. America's favorite podcast. America's favorite podcast. It really is. Like, you think it's uh, Joe Rogan or Seth Rogan or, you know, Rogaine. It's not. It's the <laughs> Runner and Gunner Video Game Podcast. You know why? Because we're not saying a bunch of silly, stupid conspiracies and talking trash about America. We are not doing that. We're talking trash about you, Lennies, specifically. Lennies. And not just to talk trash, but to build you up, that you have uh, good relationships with people, help, you, help your brain think and socialize with other individuals and other people. This is the video game podcast the where video we game talk about podcast. everything from entertainment to relationships to big booties to little booties to <laughs> hairdos to mustaches, can do's and drinking beers. Everybody, the beer of the month can do and will do is Heineken. Heineken. It is still Heineken. Heine. It'll be Heineken all month long. Heine, grab yourself a Heine. Grab yourself a big booty Heine. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. There you go. All right, everybody. So we got to go. We went a little bit over uh, the producer first said, time, but um, we, want, we want you guys to know that if you can have a great, great Monday, Monday, then you can, can have, have a great, great life. life. Don't forget to listen to our commercial at the end. And don't forget Bonus. to listen to the, fi- the YouTube rendition every oh. week from now on. For the next five weeks, we are doing it exclusively. Exclusive YouTube We will continue to carry rendition. out the YouTube version as we are very accessible on YouTube. Yes, we are. And we are very much alive there. So everybody out there, go ahead and follow us on YouTube. Look for us. We'll be there making jokes and soon to come running on the streets. Running on the streets soon enough. All right, everybody. Have a great, beautiful day. And remember, if you have time, have a Monday morning crack. Have a Monday morning crack. Hey, how you doing? Uh, can I get a, a, a chicken taco and uh, something to drink? A Fanta is good. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, we actually don't have Fanta or chicken tacos anymore. Well, am I in the right place? Let me. Oh, this is a uh, El Pollo Loco, right? Yes, this is the new El Pollo Loco. No. ¿Qué pasó? No. Uh, well, instead of serving tacos and um, burritos, we serve um, hot horchata and champurrado. Hey, this is El Pollo Loco. What happened, man? I'm out of here. Introducing the new El Pollo Loco where it's much more like Starbucks coffee, where you and your friends could hang out and sit at a desk and play the computer and do your study. Hey, dude, let's study. Let's go into the new Hal Pollo Loco. Well, if you want to use the computers, just go to the computer room. The new Al Pollo Loco is now the new Starbucks, where you can get all your studying and drink coffee and hot horchata while you stay there for hours on end. Hey, wait, guys. I forgot my laptop. Come by to the new Al Pollo Loco and have yourself a hot horchata today. Now introducing the new hot horchata. And if you buy one and get one free, you can also get an espresso taco latte. I'm never chopping with you guys again. Salsa not included. What's up, up, everybody? everybody? It is the Runner Runner and and Gunner Gunner Video Video Game Game Podcast Podcast. Monday Morning Show. YouTube rendition. The rendition of Runner and Gunner Video Game Podcast. Listen to us every Monday morning on YouTube while we have the YouTube rendition, the new segment for the the Runner and Gunner Monday Morning Podcast. And we're going to be doing this every week. Every week, we're going to have a nice 15-minute quick all-out version of the show that you just listened to on Spotify. So come check us out. Check it out. Every week. All you maniacs, check it out. You can check it out. It's the Runner and Gunner Video Video Game Game Podcast. Podcast. Don't listen to the system.